Hi, Gemini, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee, and this is New Angel Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be your monthly sun sign prediction for December 2022. Um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, yay, thanks for coming back and welcome to the end of the year. I know it's been crazy. It's 2020, almost 2023. So before we get started, I just want to talk about the astro weather um, and what's happening in the sky right now. So today I'm filming this on the 23rd of November, which is the new moon in Sagittarius. So things are starting to look a bit brighter. Things are going to feel like the weight is being lifted from Scorpio season because Scorpio season can tend to be a little heavy. Um, and also... Um, the fact that Jupiter has been in retrograde and so the month of November probably wasn't as, um, you know, mutually beneficial for a lot of people um, from a, you know, on all sort of different um, angles, but primarily um, finance. I don't think um, many people did too well in November and I attribute that to Jeff, uh, Jupiter being in retrograde. However, as of today, the 23rd of November, uh, Jupiter is now going direct. So we are going to hopefully recover from, you know, just that sort of lull. It, let's just call it that. It's behind us now. So that's the main thing. In other uh, news, we've also got uh, uh, Venus is conjunct Mercury uh, at the moment. So what that means is uh, a planet is conjunct and they're sort of next to one another. They're kind of kikiing. They're getting along well. They're enjoying each other's company. Um, but what they're doing is they're vibing off each other. So Venus being the planet of love and attraction, not just romance, but money and finance and prosperity and things like that as well. Um, and it's next to Mercury. So there's going to be a, a focus on harmonious relationships and harmonious connections, harmonious communication, which in a way um, is a little contradictory because we've got Mars in Gemini, which is your sign. Uh, this is the video for Mars for Gemini 2022. Um, so December 2022. So it's almost going to sort of, cancel it out. I, I don't think that we're going to have too much more sort of dealing with conflict and people in general because um, Gemini energy is all about communication. But when it's Mars is in Gemini, it can be very sort of um, people pressing your buttons a little bit. But it can also indicate for Geminis in general that ability to be able to you know, it's a planet of want as well. Whatever you want, you will get if you communicate it. You know, closed mouths don't get fed. So if you are a Gemini and you have been using your voice uh, since Mars has been in Gemini, um, you'll usually get what you want. So speak it and it will become so. What you hold in your mind, you will hold in your hand, as the saying goes. Um, so, yeah, Venus next to Mercury is all about harmonious uh, connections and relationships. And also the fact that, um, you know, we're going to be focusing on the seventh house uh, this month in December for Gemini because that is the house of relationships. More about marriages as well because they're sort of mature relationships. They're not the sort of sibling relationships we had in Gemini, but we've moved around uh, to the seventh house, which is more about, you know, our professional relationships and um, adult relationships. Let's put it that way. So, Gemini, uh, that's it for the sort of astro news. Uh, I hope some of this information was helpful to you and you have a great December. But let's see what's in the cards and let's do a reading. So without further ado, let's get started. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Gemini need to know for the month of December? Okay, we've got the Prince of Cups at the centre of your reading. Six of Cups, Prince of Cups in the centre, Six of Cups in the crowning position, uh, in the foundation. Wow, you've got the sun. Nice. Uh, recent past Capricorn energy, the devil. Immediate future, Two of Cups. This is looking like a bit of a love reading for those who are single, but there's a lot of sort of joy here anyway. I'm seeing it's all blue, it's all water, three out of Five cards so far, water, water again, uh, material loss in pleasure, um, five of cups, five of swords, more fives. What did I say about that Venus cancelling out Mars in Gemini? And then nine of swords in the attitude. <sighs> okay. 
And then you're you're showing up in your outcome here. So Gemini is the outcome card for the lovers, uh, which is the outcome. And the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of cups. So we have the two of cups, the five of cups, and the seven of cups in the reading, and the six of cups. So we've got two, five, six, and seven. Clarifying the seven of cups, we've got the hermit, Virgo energy. All right. This is really interesting. Um, I'm a Gemini, so I'll try not to read my own cards, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, December, Gemini, Prince of Cups at the centre of the reading, also known as the Knight of Cups in the Rider Waite. Um, this is about creating new pathways for yourself, stuff that's going to make you happy, stuff that's going to um, produce a sense of joy, uh, emotional fulfilment, emotional and creative pathways. If you're single, this is a declaration that's coming through for you because you've also got the two of cups here in your immediate future. So if you are single, uh, look out. A silly season is here and you are hot to trot. So that's something for the single folk out there or see if you're single as a Pringle. <laughs> Someone once said, I thought that was so gorgeous. Um, but if you're not single and you're in a marriage like me, for example, um, this is more about your creativity, okay, and wearing your heart on your sleeve and actually, you know, giving it all you've got, putting your – you're emotionally invested this month, okay. That's what I, I feel most strongly about, um, even though we're going to be focusing on relationships. But those relationships are all sorts of relationships, people that you, you know, third parties that you have, friends that you have, um, colleagues, um, people in your community, all that sort of stuff. Um, and it's and it's really beautiful. It's like, you know, it's love all the way. It's kind of like it's all this, it's a bit of a love fest actually from what I can see here. In your crowning position, we've got uh, Sun in Scorpio card, Six of Cups, which is about pleasure. And it's about sort of, you know, good food, good wine, nice company, um, intimacy, all those things that we love to do and enjoy and it's part of, you know, living a good life. Um, and that's in your crowning position. So for December, it's interesting as well, I should have mentioned, um, we're in Sagittarius season, which is the opposite sign, sign opposite Gemini. So we always have something to learn uh, in such season, not to be so logical about everything, but perhaps possibly just understand the wonder of the world and really enjoy uh, those things that surround us, which is all about pleasure. In the foundation here, we've got the sun, uh, most positive card in the deck, all about ego, the self, uh, identity, uh, shining, you know, bright, and being optimistic. Um, it, being this is in the foundation card, this is all about for me, it's like um, <clears throat> optimism, freedom. Uh, opportunity, uh, positivity, joy, you know, it's the most positive card in the deck. So it is a very, very good thing. In your recent past, uh, Capricorn energy here, you may have been um, working or collaborating or um, connecting with Capricorn energy. I know I have. But also Capricorn indicates discipline. This is an energy here of um, understanding, you know, all good things come to those who work hard for it. Nothing worth doing is ever easy. Um, but if you do apply yourself and have a, a sense of structure and discipline in your life, especially when it comes to your career or reputation, um, this is Capricorn energy. Some of you also on a maybe not so positive note may have also been dealing with, um, you know, maybe coming out of uh, a form of addiction or working through some sort of concepts regarding ma um, materialism and what it means to exist on the material plane. Food for thought. In your immediate future, we've got the Two of Cups here. This is all about harmony and love. So, again, if you're single as a Pringle, uh, this is looking really positive for you. You might have some new love coming through in December over the next four to six weeks as of now, uh, early Jan. Um, but this is also about harmony, unity, um, people being, um, you know, an item, but people also being on the same page when it comes to the heart space and working with others. Um, it's very harmonious and it's, yeah, it's the love card. So this is really positive. Um, but this is your position where you're sitting in now. We've got loss in pleasure here, which can indicate a bit of a lack mentality when it comes to pleasure and, and emotional well-being. Um, this can also indicate like a glass half empty uh, kind of approach, but also looking at, you know, this is a this is a message coming through to sort of say, listen, um, look at what you do have, not what you don't have. Okay, it's always good to have a glass half full approach. Um, 
because you're never always going to have your cup 100% full 100% of the time. It's sort of how we manage our emotions and how we deal with loss or sorrow or some sort of disappointment. You know, people can let you down. That's life. People can be disappointing. Um, But what do you do? You know, you've just got to roll with it. So I feel really strongly here there's change coming through in terms of a healing taking place or some sort of letting go uh, as well, letting go of, of you know, no hard feelings kind of thing um, because in your environment and how other people see you, you've also got the five of swords. Now, I had a fun reading given to me. I've actually had two people read for me this week, which is really um, unusual because I don't normally have people read for me. One was at an event. Um, <laughs> two readers, a lady and I were sitting next to each other and we decided to give each other a fun reading. And this card came up for me as well, um, being that I am a Gemini. I just want to mention this also. There could be an energy here as well where you're cutting ties from people or redundant conversations or redundant communication that just isn't working for you as much. Um, you know, I'm, for example, not doing as many lives as what I've been doing this year. I mean, it's good for, you know, a little bit of money for jam, but um, my energy needs to be spent in other areas. So this is also about being a a sense of um, being appreciated and understanding like um, what's working for you and what's not working for you. And also in your environment and how other people see you, it can be an indication of cutting away from conversations that are redundant. You know, you may have said the same thing over and over again and it's just sort of, well, there's not much point to that because, you know, why? Um, so you might be sort of doing a bit of um, gardening here, I call it housekeeping, uh, in the month of December in terms of, listen, you've got your opinion, I've got my opinion, I'm going to go off and do what I need to do now. Good luck with that. <laughs> your attitude is the Nine of Swords, um, which is, again, you know, it's not a bright card. Um, it can indicate worry, uh, concern, um, you know, losing sleep over things, but also can indicate just a little bit of negative self-talk. It can also indicate, you know, that, uh, you know, I'm never going to be good enough or I don't have enough of this or that, um, you know, stuff, the negative Nancy that's sitting on your shoulder. Well, kick her to the curb because that's not going to get you anywhere, okay? It's time to just move onwards and upwards. And if it is in regard to relationships, because we are talking about the seventh house here, you know, connections that just, you know, you're not going to get along with everybody and not everybody is for your highest good. And so if you are in a situation as well where you're contemplating or you're, it's worrying you that you have to sort of move away from certain things or or groups or scenarios, um, that's a choice you have to make and that's your outcome. So this is the card of Gemini, the lovers, but it's also the card of choice, deciding, uh, you know, who you want on your team. Um, you know, who's who's looking out for you, who has your best interests. Um, and again, you know, with the two of cups in your immediate future here, this is about love as well as it is about, um, you know, connections, soul connections. This could be a, a connection as well with some, I'm getting a message here as well. People are making some decisions about siblings um, because Gemini is also the uh, house of siblings. So if you are in the midst of making some decisions here, even about family members, that could be on the cards for you as well this month the overarching energy is amazing it's the seven of cups this is illusionary success but it's also about a card of um, discernment reassessment looking at those cups that are on the cloud and actually saying look okay I've got all these dreams and hopes and dreams and what does that all look like and it can lead to a bit of a a feeling of confusion but what um, we need to do when this card comes through is sort of be discerning you know don't take the first cup that is you know the most glittery so all that glitters is not golden necessarily so that's the caveat with this card Um, but it's clarified by Virgo energy which is a could be a Virgo in your life my husband's a Virgo but generally speaking I love this card this is about knowing thyself understanding who you are where you connect, what makes you happy, um, and and being self-aware. You know, this is also a self-awareness card as well. Understanding truth, seeking answers, seeking wisdom, and, you know, getting your lantern and sort of going into the cave and making sure that you, you know, leaving no stone left unturned when it comes to knowledge um, and your curiosity. Um, so I also feel really strongly that there's that, that energy here of, you um, Figuring out, again, relationships that serve you and the ones that don't, and it's okay to sort of 
call things a day and say, look, I'm going to start this year new, delete, 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 you know, remove certain, you know, out of sight, out of mind, as they say. And if you need to do that, that's a healthy thing to do. It's sort of life's fluid. You, you know, you're not always going to sort of keep everyone on the bus. You know, maybe it's time for them to, you know, it's off the bus time. Um so, yeah, so this is a really interesting reading overall. I feel um, there's lots of positivity running through the heart of your reading, um, lots of dedication here that you've been applying yourself recently into certain things, and also in your immediate future here there's a lot of love. Um, but in this side of the reading and in the next four to six weeks, there's a bit of gardening, there's a bit of housekeeping, and there's some decisions to make. And this is all about, you know, your ability to um, feel happy again, feel pleasure, um, feel pleasure in your crowning position here because where you're sitting with me at the moment, it just feels like you could be doing better. You could be uh, vibing with people that are a little bit more positive even or something along those lines. You know, this is a healing card as well. Um, you may have also just been, like I said, been sort of kicked in the teeth with something and you've got to make some calls on what that looks like moving forward. So, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading for December 2022. If you did and you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps my channel a lot. It takes one second. Um, also, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me in 2023. I'm planning a ton of stuff in terms of magic, astrology, um, numerology, everything that I know about and much, much more. Um, so, please, I hope to see you again. And have a fantastic December. Happy holidays. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year. And thank you all so much for your support in 2022. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and I will see you guys next year. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.